Welcome back to House of Roman. My name is Manuel. So I believe these are the last two that I haven't talked about. I believe so. Hopefully, if there's another one, stay tuned, maybe. I think it's all of them. But anyways, I got two more fragrances that I've been collecting. Again, like I said, uh, I've been still be collecting if I don't do videos, but I'm still enjoying fragrances, collecting fragrances, finding cheap fragrances. But again, you already get this going. Come on. I'm gonna give you one. Never gonna let you go, never gonna say goodbye, no Never gonna give you up I'm never gonna let you go, never gonna say goodbye, no Never gonna give, never gonna give, never gonna give for sticking around so again i got two fragrances two fragrances that i that i added to my collection probably a couple weeks back but again a lot of these i try not to touch especially one of them i bought it a couple of weeks back and i still haven't even opened from the plastics since i brought it up it's from the house of latafa latafa for car extract gold i believe that's what i found that it's called so this one is a beautiful scent i remember smelling it there at drug emporium and so i was debating if i should get it or not and i took a little test strip uh sorry for making all this noise but i decided to take the uh, test strip with me to see what i thought about it you know so again it comes in this gold box if you have the other one uh, if you've seen the other for car uh it's supposed to smell like uh I should look it up, but it's just, it's just like this, but in a black box, the bottle itself is is uh, black and silver. I can't think of the top of my head. I'll probably put it somewhere up here. So again, Latafa car. Comes in like, oh, I'm chewing just a box itself. Seems like the cap fell off of it. There it is, beautiful presentation. Let's see if I can pull it out. I, I, I think I believe I kept the other box of this one. I think I'll probably keep it also. Here's a gold bottle. Beautiful bottle. Very bad, a uh, very, uh, uh, what we'll do call it, a uh, fingerprint magnet. So this one contains grapefruit, pink pepper, cardamom, uh, timber rose, uh, solar notes. <laughs> I was like, what solar notes? Anyways, artemisia, amber, uh, cashmere, labidum, and leather. So this one, it, I've seen it on for granted. It seems to be classified for a women fragrance, but honestly, me and the uh, me and the guy from from uh, Drug Emporium and one of the ladies there, we were looking at it, and so we sprayed in a test strip. I said, man, it smells. They couldn't figure out what it is, and so I they had I had just recently smelled it. Smelled uh, one million. Uh, was it one million parfum? Probably a week prior, the parfum, and they had that other one, extract, I believe it was called. And but anyways, to me it smelled like the parfum. And sure enough, I never, I haven't looked up the notes. I purchased it, never looked up the notes to just recently. So I give you guys the notes, what's in it. But again, but we did figure out that it smelled like one million parfum. Cap itself, just like the other one, it's a heavy metal cap. Yep. The atomizer. Again, this is not my first impressions, but again, I did smell it before. Mm. Man, this is beautiful. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It. I was like, you know what? I was like debating if I should get it or not for the fact that you know summertime is around the corner. But honestly, it just is a sweetness. That leathery, but it just to me it's not like you can you can wear this all year round. And honestly, when I when I smelled it, like I said, I took it with me and I was debating because you know right now I'm looking at fragrances you know for the spring and summer. But again, I was like, you know what? I think this is go very nice as a, as a date night uh, scent. If you're going somewhere special, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. 
the Kansas is just a sweet, nice to me. It's very elegant scent, kind of spicy, very enjoyable. Again, it's, to me, it's mass appealing fragrance. But again, it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Again, like I said, I was just debating if I should get it or not. Uh, they put it to the side. And so I told them, give me, give me some time to, to think about it. I said, if, just in case, because they, again, again, at Dragon Porn, a lot of these Latafas are going pretty fast there. A lot of these uh, uh, Middle Eastern fragrances are starting to go real, real fast. They're at Dragon Porn. A lot of people really starting to, to notice these and started to, you know, uh, put the nose in them and fall in love with them. So one time we were, I was there and me and my wife and uh, this guy, I told you, I said, man, you need to check out them Latafas. And sure enough, he smelled, he smelled a couple of them. I think he ended up taking like one or two two of the toppers. But he said he had his mind on, on a designer fragrance, but saw these and uh, he, well, he smelled the fragrances there from the top and fell in love with the scent, especially with the price range. You know, like this one, it was like 30 bucks. But again, like, a lot of the toppers go between 18 to 40, 50 bucks there at Drug Emporium. But again, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent fragrance i like this a lot again i was debating if i should get it but i said you know what to me this is nice to me i think to my nose i feel like you can wear this all year round now my cats are fighting <laughs> anyways the next one the next one's called moju affection this one i found this one at uh, uh marshall's so again another one that i was like should i get it should i not get it so I decided to pick it up. This one contains some wild fru white floral notes, rosemary, pink pepper, jasmine, neroli, lang lang, sandalwood, vetiver, uh, cedar, and patchouli. Now this one, another one, again, it's a fragrance, it's a type of fragrance. Let me see, let me spray real quick. And this is from the, uh, it's also from the line of a milestone. Look at that, atomizer, I love these atomizers. So they do have a lot of the Monji, Monji, Monji uh, line from the Milestone. They're from a drug emporium. And so a lot of them, to me, they sort of smell like some ouds that I already have. Some oud, sweet ouds, uh, spicy ouds that I have already. And But this one smells a little bit different. This one is, is a little bit more of a a citrusy clean more to me this is very very casual man you know i might even wear this tomorrow but this is very very casual very nice very clean very mass appealing again to my understanding this gets decent performance very very nice i like this a lot and since i got you guys here uh I put a video of this fragrance. Give me one second. I did a video yesterday uh, from the House of Anima. I wore it today. Man, this is okay. Now this Anima, I was it wasn't part of the video, but I said you know what, I'm going to do an update on this one. But this one, again, this is it's a fragrance that I wore back in high school, and. Uh, very, very nice. I remember it used to last longer, but I did get by six hours today. Each time I sprayed it, very, very nice. I like this. I uh, showed my boy Prince there at work. He said, man, you know what? This is <laughs> this is a nice scent. He goes, I like, I like the way it smells. So again, if you get, if you get a chance, check these out, Enema. But again, just two more fragrances that I had added that I have not talked about in my videos. So, if you guys got your hands on any of these, leave a comment down below. Again, if I do see it wrong, but I think I've talked about all the ones that I've purchased. But again, you know, sometimes it's just life gets busy, especially now that I'm trying to work out. You know, today we felt kind of lazy. <laughs> we didn't do nothing. We were gonna go walking down the park. But again, sometimes you get tired, you know, work and then come home and, you know, cook dinner and all of that and then, you know, you know how it is. But again, if there's any other ones I haven't talked about, please stay tuned. But again, like, share, and subscribe. Y'all keep smelling great. 
Y'all stay blessed and uh, see you guys in the next video.